This is a demo of multiple queues in OpenFAS and also multiple namespaces. So I have OpenFAS deployed on K3D on an Intel NIC. And if I do Fasili NS, we see we've got two namespaces. We get these namespaces, uh, take a look at them. The default one, OpenFAS FN, um, is always included, but the dev one is only included because of this annotation of OpenFAS 1. And if we take a look at list, we don't have any functions yet. So what I want to do is deploy, um, let's say figlet, let's say node info into the normal namespace in the store. And then I'm going to deploy figlet and specify the dev namespace. Okay, and then we should see when we do a list in dev, we have that. We do a list in the normal namespace, we've got node info. Now um, I want to get the logs of the normal queue worker. And what I've actually done is I've set up a second queue worker simply by, um, let's see if I have the file here, opening, exporting the current queue worker and changing the queue name. So we've got this Nats channel, and that's called slow queue. This one on the left is called fast request, and you probably see where I'm going here. We're gonna send some traffic to fast request and some to this slow queue. And the reason for that is that it's first in, first out. You might have some actions like Docker builds that need to take a long time. that are gonna go in the slow queue. Maybe your webhook responses that are really fast are gonna go in this queue. Okay, so let's get the logs for that. And next, get rid of this other terminal. We wanna do uh, invocation. So we can see the URL here, the synchronous URL for both, which you want an async invocation. And these always need to be a post. And the only thing you need to change is the URL. Actually, the, this doesn't have to be the word async. This is any body that you want. And so node info is in the normal namespace. We would expect this to be run on the left. Here we go, it was invoked, we got the response. And if we change that to figlet.dev, again, it's run on the one on the left-hand side because there's this new queue name um, that's being passed through and it's being passed through according to annotation. And annotation is driving where the deployment, where the queue goes. So if we wanted to change, let's say the figlet, we can add an annotation here and we'll put com.openfast.queue equals slow queue. Okay, and then fast you like describe will show that that uh, new annotation has been added. And with any luck, we will call this. And it's on the right hand side of the screen and not on the left. And you can see that the queue name has been determined based upon that metadata, that annotation. So now we have the ability to um, invoke functions as we would normally, passing in no extra metadata to the invocation, but at deployment time, we've been able to specify a, uh, a queue for which um, all the async requests go to. Now, let's look at our queue workers. We see we have the, the default one in the Helm chart and the second one that I added by exporting and re-importing. What we don't have is a dynamic way of adding these queue workers and scaling the queue workers themselves. Or we could use HPA to scale them, that would work pretty well. But actually knowing what topics to add it to, that's where I think uh, maybe a CRD or an extension to the existing controller would be a good fit. So just to show you again, we've got our figlet function that's going on the slow queue because when we describe it, we see the annotation. And if we describe the node info in the default namespace and we invoke that, we see that it goes to the default queue. And that's that. 
So if you want to know any more, go and look at the PR or perhaps by the time you look at this, the PR will be merged. Um, this has been a feature that's been asked for quite a lot by the community and uh, it'd be great to get you to try it out.